Tolkien is a master of breaking fourth wall in The Hobbit because he was managing the experience of Sam very well. And that's what enabled him to be able to break the fourth wall and say, don't worry, old Bilbo is going to be okay. He says that because he doesn't want the experience of the children listening to the story to be so specific to them that they get too scared. So he wants to really manage. Bilbo turned out all right in the end, kids. I know this is scary for now, but hang in there. So it's a reassurance. Now, the Deadpool movies are extraordinarily violent. There's a lot of blood. There's a lot of death. There's a lot of mayhem. And so part of how they're enabling Sam to enjoy that is to have Ryan Reynolds break fourth wall and go, hey, it's going to be cool. And that way we cannot experience the, the presencing of that violence at the level that it truly is. And what you'll discover today when you're seeing those sorts of films now, they're very highly stylized violence. So it's almost dance as opposed to real violence. In our culture today, violence as a phenomena is very much trying to be managed. And violence is not allowed. We're all trying to manage this violent spectrum. But we also know violence is real and it exists and it's true and it happens. Because we're managing it such that we're all clamping down on all of our violent instincts and instead of acting out violently, that, as Freud would say, we're repressing it. And so what you'll find is that in our art, in our films, in our books, that violence takes a very very large center stage. Because we're clamping down and commanding and control the violent impulses in our culture, our art starts to reflect the lack of our being able to witness that, if you will.